My name is Agnes Konedu Obusu Jakari. I am a Ghanaian and I was born in Ghana, but I left to Qatar to further my high school education. And then I came to USA to further my school as well in South Dakota State University. Okay, so I have been in America for three months now and I am studying early childhood education. Woohoo! Who doesn't like it? I love it and I love my major. I actually came to USA all by myself and when I entered this place, I thought it was really huge. It, it had everything. It had dorms, it had academic buildings, it had malls, it had stadiums, it had it had just everything. I came in the fall season, which is in August, and within a month, I loved everything I saw in here. <laughs> so when I arrived in the USA, I didn't really feel out of place at all because everyone was so welcoming and so helpful that I didn't I didn't get lost at all. I felt like if I don't ask, I am not going to receive. So I kept on asking and bothering people to show me the way because I didn't want to get lost. I experienced a huge culture shock with the food that they eat in here and then with the activities going on in here. Because like when I came, I didn't get to eat the food that I used to eat in Qatar. Like, but then I got used to the food that they were eating in America and I loved it. There was a lot of student related activities going on like Halloween costume parties, pumpkin carvings, hobo day, um, Mr. and Mrs. Homecoming, um, throwing frisbee with the president of SDSU. It was amazing. I personally went to all of the events and that was good. I loved it. My views about this university about it is made up of like various clubs groups and activities that i could be interested in i am actually in a youth group called fire starters and we meet every every mondays to talk about the word of god and to share about the goodness of god to other people and this group has really helped me in my academics for me to like be able to study more and then understand what i study my favorite thing about studying in the usa is meeting people with different mindset i came here with a narrow mindset i came here with just one mindset of how the world is and how people are but then when i came and then i met like diverse people from different countries and all of that i got to understand people better and i got to understand why people act in the way that they do maybe they have a problem or maybe that is how they are so we should just like accept them for who they are a negative thing about me studying in the USA is, is that I get really pressured a lot with my school schedules because as I said I am being treated like an adult and everyone is on their own in this place there is no one to tell me what to do to tell me to like finish my assignment I have to do it on my own uh, because when I pass my deadline that is horrible and you don't want to do that if you pass a deadline that is horrible or if you miss a class in, in college <laughs> you are doomed skip a class or pass your deadline is you have to be consistent in anything that you do i am very consistent i keep up with my with my studies and i don't wait until the very end because i know that what i do in the beginning of the semester will affect me in the end so i have to be really consistent in everything i do but if i had to summarize everything like studying abroad and being in the usa and being in south dakota state university i would say that if you get the opportunity to do anything that you like, my dear, you have to grab it. You have to take the opportunity, you have to do what you like, and then like what you do. Also, you don't really have to take things in heart. You have to be a free-minded person. You have to think positive in any situation that comes your way. Especially when you have a negative situation, you have to turn that into a positive situation. Because that will help you, that will motivate you. You wouldn't depend on anyone to motivate you to, to go ahead, you know? You I tell myself, Agnes, you have to think the best that you can. You have to think that you can achieve the best in life and then you can achieve it. I hope you have learned about my life in South Dakota. Thank you.